Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Welcome to the app's logo history, a video which will show you the history of logos from many phone apps. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about Facebook. It is an online social media and social networking service owned by American technology giant Meta Platforms. 2004 to 2005, here we have the logo of the first Facebook's name, the Facebook. There is a blue rectangle, and inside it there is the word the Facebook in light blue text between two brackets. Here is an icon. 2005 to 2015, they changed its name to Facebook. There is a blue rectangle, and inside it there is the word Facebook in white text. Here is the icon, the word mark, the print version of the word mark and a part of a commercial. Home. A whole new experience for your phone. 2015 to 2020, the font has changed. Here is the icon, the word mark, the print version of the word mark and a part of a commercial. Sir. 2019 to 2023, there is the word Facebook in light blue text. Here is the icon, the 2D version of the icon and a part of a commercial. <laughs> 2023 to the present, the font has changed. Here is the print version and the icon. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Instagram. It is an American photo and video sharing social networking service owned by Facebook, created by Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger, and originally launched on iOS in October 2010. 2009 to 2010, here we have the logo of the first Instagram's name, Burb. There is the word Burb in black text. 2010 to 2010, they changed its name to Instagram. There is the word Instagram in red text. 2010 to 2013, there is the word Instagram in black text. Here is the first icon and the other icon. 2013 to 2015, the font has changed, and the text is now blue text. Here is the icon and the Windows Phone version. 2015 to 2016, the logo is brighter. 2016 to the present, the text is now in black text. Here is the icon, the print version, the inverted version, the rainbow version, a variant and a commercial. 2016. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about WhatsApp. It is an American freeware, cross-platform messaging and voice over IP service owned by Facebook Inc. 2009 to the present, there is a green speech balloon, and inside it, there is a white telephone, and on the right of the speech balloon, there is the word WhatsApp in grey text. Here is the Android icon, the iOS icon and a commercial. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Facebook Messenger. It is an American messaging app and platform developed by Facebook Inc. 2011 to 2013, there is a blue chat box, and inside it there is a white shape. Here is the iOS version. 2013 to 2018, there is a rounded light blue gradient chat box, and inside it, there is a white shape. Here is a commercial. Twenty eighteen to twenty twenty, the white shape is now rounded. Here is a commercial. <laughs> One, two, three, four, can I have a little From 2020 to the present, the chat box is now in blue and yellow gradient. Here is a commercial. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Messenger Kids. It is a messaging app and platform released by Facebook in December 2017. 2017 to 2018, there is a blue and green chat box on a black outline, and inside it, there is a white shape on a black outline. 
Here is a commercial. It allows kids to do what they like to do best, which is to be silly, to play, to see their grandparent laugh, to see their parent laugh. Knowing that parents can have control, I believe that is absolutely phenomenal. Twenty eighteen to twenty twenty one. The shape is now wider, rounder, and more white. Here is a commercial. So first you do this, this, this. <laughs> Important relationships are built through very small moments all through your life. They're on opposite coasts, and here they are chatting at least every weekend. I think messenger kids can help them stay better friends. <laughs> I contact my friend, and I ask her a lot to have sleepovers. When I'm talking with my friend <laughs> that moved very far away, I just feel less missing of him. How's it going? Hi. Contacting my mom when I'm at my dad's house is pretty cool. I was wondering if you could help me on my homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a pretty funny kid. I kind of knew that already, but when I'm at work, sometimes he'll send a, a little message, and I definitely feel more connected to him. It just brightens up my day. Hey, mamacita! Hey. My mom is originally from Ecuador. Buenos dias, como estas? When I see them connecting with my mom, it means a lot that she just gets so excited about that. I love you, mamacita! I love you, too. 2021 to the present, there is a yellow, green, and blue gradient chat bubble on a black outline, and on it, there is a white shape on a black outline. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about YouTube. It is an online video sharing and social media platform headquartered in San Bruno, California, United States. 2005 to 2011, there is the word you in gray text, and on the right of it, there is a red rounded shape, and inside it, there is the word tube in white text. Here is the print version, the slogan version, and a part of a commercial. Twenty eleven to twenty thirteen, the shape is darker. Here is a part of a commercial. Welcome to day three of the comedy. Twenty thirteen to twenty fifteen, the text and the shape are brighter. Here is the flat version, the print version, and a part of a commercial. Now it's time for our wrap-up. 2015 to 2017, the shape is darker. Here is a part of a commercial. We arrived. 2017 to the present, there is a red rounded shape, and inside it, there is a white play sign, and on the right of the shape, there is the word YouTube in black text. Here is the print version, the gray version, the word mark, the icon, and a part of a commercial. Everyone has a right to be known to be seen and to be heard. If we can all together share the little stories we have from here, to me there's nothing stronger than that. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about YouTube Kids. It is an American video app and website for children developed by YouTube, a subsidiary of Google. 2015 to 2017, there is the word kids in black text, and on the top left of it, there is the old YouTube logo. Here is the horizontal version, a variant, the icon and an intro. 2017 to 2019, there is a draw of YouTube icon, and on the right of it, there are the words YouTube and kids in black and gray text. Here is the icon and an intro. From 2019 to the present, the word kids is now in dark gray text. Here is an icon and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about YouTube Studio. It is a platform created by the American video sharing platform YouTube. 2017 to the present, there is a red rounded rectangle, and inside it there is a white play button, and on the right of the rectangle there are the words YouTube and Studio in black and gray text. Here is the short Barrison and the icon. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Ext. It is an online social media and social networking service operated by the American company X Corporation, the successor of Twitter Incorporated. 2005 to 2006. Here we have the logo of the first X name, TWTTR. It is a prototype logo. There is the word TWTTR in green text, but the letter W is in a brighter text, and coming out from the letter R there is a green slime. 2006 to 2010, here we have the logo of the second X name, Twitter. There is the word Twitter in blue text. Here is the print version. 
2010 to 2012, now there is a blue bird on the right of the logo. Here is the print version. 2012 to 2023, the text has been removed and the bird is darker. Here is the print version and a commercial. Where? Huh? What do I do? What? How do I explore? Don't worry, mate, it's just Twitter. Hope you don't mind the company, but um, obviously I don't run. Who are you? But don't worry about that, I'm here to help you with Twitter. Listen, what I need you to do, just click on the little magnifying glass thing there, Julia. I think I can do this. Come on, let's go exploring together. OK. Your back is very sweaty, but I'm so excited about this, I'm going to ignore that. OK. Yeah. You're doing really well. Thanks, man. D just keep scrolling, it's going to be wicked. And what is this? Whoa, Candice Parker? It's the Explore tab. Listen to Candice, explore. Dude, you're into ninjas. Yeah. That's it, keep exploring. These are things I like. I like that you like things. Keep scrolling. Okay. Julio, you just mastered Twitter. Wow, that's rad. Yep, and they're constantly evolving and changing, just like you. And um, maybe stop saying rad, yeah? Are we good now, Julio? Yeah, I think we are. Guys, wait up. I need someone to charge this up. Does anybody have a snack or something? 2023 to the present, they changed its name to X. There is a black slash, and on it there is a white shape on a black outline, all of that representing a letter X in black and white text. Here is the gray version, the blue version, the app icon, the initial version and an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Threads. It is an online social media and social networking service operated by Meta Platforms. The app offers users the ability to post and share text, images, and videos, as well as interact with other users' posts through replies, reposts, and likes. 2023 to 2023, here we have the logo of the first thread's name, Barcelona. Here we have a prototype logo. There is a black at. Here is another prototype and the app icon for this prototype. 2023 to the present, they changed its name to Threads. The ad is more stylized. Here is the word mark, the app icon and the rainbow icon. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Snapchat. It is an American multimedia messaging app developed by Snap Incorporated, originally Snapchat Incorporated. 2011 to 2011, here we have the logo of the first Snapchat's name, Pickaboo. There is a yellow glossy rounded square, and on it there is a white drawing of a ghost on a black outline showing his tongue and holding a photo. 2011 to 2013, they changed its name to Snapchat. There is a yellow 3D rounded square, and on it there is a white ghost on a black outline with two eyes a mouth and showing his tongue. 2013 to 2013, the ghost's face has been removed. 2013 to 2014, the square is less glossy. 2014 to 2019, the square is now 2D, and the eyes and the mouth have been removed. Here is the icon, the inverted icon, the snap code and the commercial. From 2019 to the present, the outline is thicker. Here is a commercial. All right, now I'm gonna talk about TikTok. It is a Chinese video and social platform launched in September 2016 by ByteDance. 2017 to 2018, under the music symbol there are the words tick and talk in black text. 2018 to the present, the text is now on the right, the font has changed, and now the letter O is in the 3D effect as well. Here is the word mark, the vertical version and the commercial which is gonna be muted due to copyright. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Twitch. It is an American video live streaming service that focuses on video game live streaming, including broadcasts of esports competitions, in addition to offering music broadcasts, creative content, and in real life streams. 
It is operated by Twitch Interactive, a subsidiary of Amazon.com Inc. It was introduced in June 2011 as a spin-off of the general interest streaming platform Justin.tv. 2011-2012, here we have the logo of the first Twitch's name, Twitch TV. There is the word Twitch in silver text on a green outline and a black shadow, and on the right of it, there is a green rounded square on a silver outline, and inside it, there is the word TV in silver text. 2012-2019, they changed its name to Twitch. There is the word Twitch in white text on a purple outline. Here is the mascot, the version with the mascot, the Twitch Prime version and a commercial. twenty nineteen to the present, the font has changed, and the outline is brighter. Here is the print version, the mascot, the print version of the mascot and the Twitch Prime version. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Kick. It is a video live streaming service. Backed by Stake.com co-founders Baijun Tarani, Ed Craven and streaming personality Trainworks, Kick was founded in 2022 as a competitor to Amazon-owned Twitch, with a focus on looser moderation and higher revenue shares for streamers. 2022 to the present, there is the word Kick in green text. Here is the print version, the icon, the beta version and a commercial. Um, is it rolling? The past eight years have been life-changing. Mm. In that time, I've streamed thousands <laughs> of hours on Twitch. <laughs> I've done amazing things. What? Things Ooh. I thought I could only dream of. Oh my god. Your channel crash. <laughs> and I never could have done any of it <laughs> without you. You, you've always been there. You've been by my side through thick and thin across every corner of the globe. And I want you to hear it from me. Cheeto. Because I want you to join <laughs> in this next chapter of our <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Classic. Uh, XQC will just be a few more minutes. God, I can't believe he's doing this. I should have listened to Ludwig. Where are you? About to go live. What? Where? On kick. What's up? Chap. Chap. Let me, let me elaborate. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Google Play. It is a digital distribution service operated and developed by Google. 2008 to 2011, here we have the logo of the first Google Play's name, Android Market. There is a paper bag with an Android on it, and on the right of it, there are the words Android and Market in gray and green text. Here is the icon. 2011 to 2012, the bag is now folded, and the font of the text has changed. Here is the stacked version and the icon. 2012 to 2015, they changed its name to Google Play. There is a blue, green, red and orange rounded triangle, and on the right of it, there are the words Google and Play in gray text. Here is the stacked version, the wordmark, the icon, the app icon and an intro. 2015 to 2016, the font has changed. Here is the wordmark. 2016 to 2022, the triangle is much brighter. Here is the icon and the app icon. 2022 to the present, the logo is darker, and the corners of the play button are thicker. Here is the icon, the wordmark, the badge and a commercial. Hey there, it's David. Top quick here. Jackie here. It's Tech Me Out. Alfred with the play report here. One app that I find myself recommending a lot is CapCut. Look 
how gorgeous. With this app, you can join dance battles. <laughs> Get out there and find a weird Pokestop near you. We got you! Dots Home is one of those games I couldn't ignore. Hero Making Tycoon is a game I've been playing recently. Official Black Wall Street, where you can easily discover and shop Black-owned businesses. I found this hidden gem called Fireball Wizard. Until next time, toodles. Bye-bye. OK, now I'm going to talk about Gmail. It is a free email service developed by Google. 2004 to 2004, here we have the logo of the first Gmail's name, Google Mail. Here we have the beta logo. There is the word Google in blue, red, yellow, and green text, and under it there is a red and white envelope as a letter M, and on the right of the envelope, there is the word AL in yellow, blue, and green text, and on the right of this word, there is the word beta in gray text. 2004 to 2004, they changed its name to Gmail. There is the word Gmail in blue, yellow, and green text, except the letter M was replaced to a red and white envelope, and under the word Gmail, there are the words by and Google in gray text, and on the right of it, there is the word beta in gray text. 2004 to 2010, the word beta has been removed, and the logo is glossier. Here is the icon. 2010 to 2013, the words by and Gmail are now on the right. Here is the icon and a variant. 2013 to 2020, there is a red and white envelope. Here is the horizontal version. 2020 to the present, there is a letter M in blue dark red dark yellow and green text. Here is the horizontal version. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Gmail Go. It is the lighter version of the Gmail app. 2018 to 2020, there is a white rounded rectangle, and inside it, there is the Gmail logo that consists in a red and white envelope, and under it there is a white shape, and inside it, there is the word go in red text. 2020 to the present, there is a blue dark red red yellow and green letter M, and under it, there is a white shape on a black shadow, and on it, there is the word go in gray text. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Google Drive. It is a file storage and synchronization service developed by Google. 2012 to 2014, there are three shapes, one yellow, one blue, and one green, forming a hexagon. Here is a commercial. Meet the new Google Drive. It lets you have all your files within reach from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. And now it's faster and easier to use. First, you'll notice a single button called New, which is where you go to add something to Drive or create something new in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, or any other Drive-compatible apps. You may also notice Drive is now faster, and a single click lets you see file details and recent activity. To open, just double-click the item. After adding more and more files to Drive, you're going to want to organize and share them, so we made that easier, too. Now you can use the same commands you use on your computer to select multiple files, and then use the menu or right-click to take group actions. Or simply click and drag to move the files and folders all at once. In the mobile app, you'll see a list of items in your drive, and you can change views to see thumbnail previews of your files. From this screen, it's easy to search for files or add something from your device to drive, like photos and videos. And on Android, you can even add other files, like music and downloads. Click the File Info button to enable offline access, see recent file activity, and move or print your file. This is also where you can invite others to files or folders, as well as set what types of access they have. These are just some of the ways we are making Google Drive faster and easier to use, and we're just getting started. Give it a try from any device at g.co slash getdrive. 2014 to 2020, the shadows were removed. Here is the word mark. 2020 to the present, now the parts where the shapes connect are dark green, dark blue, and red. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Amazon. It is an American multinational technology company focusing on e-commerce, cloud computing, online advertising, digital streaming, and artificial intelligence. 1994 to 1995, here we have the logo of the first Amazon's name, Kadabra. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1995 to 1997, they changed its name to Amazon. There is a black shape and on it there is a white shape representing the Amazon River, and under the black shape, there is the word Amazon.com in black text. 1997 to 1997, now on the black shape there are a bunch of white lines. 
1997 to 1998, there is the word Amazon.com in black text, and under it, there are the words Earth's biggest and bookstore in black text. 1998 to 1998, there is the word Amazon.com in black text, except the first letter O is bigger and in yellow text. Here is a commercial. I like very much being able to find a book for certain and to order it very quickly without standing in a line and without any hassle. It's the first website that I've ever seen that I looked at and went, this is what the web should be. The more books you order from Amazon.com, the more they get to know you and they make personal recommendations. It's not scary um, and it's very, very fast. Amazon.com discounts so many books that even with the shipping, you end up saving money. It's fun, it's vast, it piques my interest. 1998 to 2000, there is the word Amazon.com in black text and under it, there is a yellow curved line. Here is the version with the slogan in the commercial. Amazon.com has tons of toys. Every ton weighs 2,000 pounds. That's a lot of toys. Every shape, size, color, and style of toys. Miles of virtual aisles of toys. Himalayan piles of toys. Amazon.com has tons of toys. Every ton weighs 2,000 pounds. That's a lot. 2000 to the present, there is the word Amazon in black text, and under the letters at Emma and Z, there is a yellow arrow, pointing to the letter Z. Here is the print version, the gray version, the icon, the app icon, the dot com version, the arrow, the cyan version, the version with the slogan, the badge, the social media icon and the commercial. As parents, we pay out that for school. So here's a novel idea, just spend less on your kids. Amazon has great deals on everything kids need. Instead of spending more, he spent less. Why would a person spend more money? He's eight and he gets it. I'm 10. Hmm, that's less impressive. Spending less costs less, financially. I spend less on my grandkids. <laughs> and they don't even know it. So spend less on your kids with Amazon's back to school deals. It's fiscally advantageous. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Amazon Prime Video. It is an American subscription video on demand over the top streaming and rental service of Amazon.com Incorporated, offered as a standalone service or as part of Amazon's Prime subscription. 2011 to 2015, here we have the logo of the first Amazon Prime video's name, Amazon Prime Instant Video. There is the word Amazon in black text except the letter O is a 3D green circle with a white play button on it, and under the word there is a black arrow, and on the right of the arrow there are the words Prime Instant and Video in black text except the word prime is in another font here is a commercial i'm working from home today seriously robert we're politicians we don't work from home we spend 90 percent of our lives begging for money and begging for votes every day we suck it up we go into the office and we meet with lobbyists it's what we do who talked us into this someone who still rocks his feet like you do come on give it I started giving you more credit, Bill. You're always thinking two moves ahead. Alpha House, only on Amazon Prime Instant Video. 2015 to 2017, they changed its name to Amazon Prime Video. The word instant has been removed, the circle is now 2D, and the font of the words Prime and Video have changed. Here is the South African version. 2017 to the present, there are the words Prime and Video in blue and black text, and under them there is a blue arrow. Here is the inverted version, the app icon, a variant and a commercial. From spine tingling to rib tickling, that's Prime Video. So, what's your mood? It, chapter one. <sighs> the conjuring? Tumba. <laughs> Comics time. One mic stand, the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> From spine tingling to rib tickling, that's Prime Video. So, what's your mood? Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Netflix. It is an American subscription video on demand over the top streaming service. 1997 to 2000, there is a purple and black gradient film strip, and in the middle of it, there is the word Netflix in black text. Here is the print version and the dot-com version. 
2000 to 2001, there are two yellow shapes, and between them there is a black oval shape on a white and black outline, and on it, there is a yellow rounded rectangle and under it there is the word Netflix in white text, and under it, there are two white brackets, and between them, there is the word dot com in white text. 2001 to 2014, there is a red rectangle, and inside it, there is the word Netflix in white text on a black outline. Here is the word mark, the icon and the commercial. Oh, hello. I'd like to tell you about Netflix. It's an amazing service that lets you watch unlimited movies and TV episodes instantly. You watch Netflix on your PC or on your TV through a game console or other devices connected to the Internet. Wow, that's fast. Best of all, Netflix is only... Eight bucks a month. But don't listen to a beaver. Take it from the fish. It's true. Start your free trial today. 2014 to the present, there is the word Netflix in red text. Here is the print version, the icon, the print version of the icon and the commercial. Go, Pat, go! Why are you all wearing Hulu? It is a streaming platform owned by the Walt Disney Company, with Comcast and Universal holding a minority stake. 2007 to 2014, there is the word Hulu in a green gradient text. Here is the print version, the icon, the app icon, the plus version, the pre-launch version and the commercial. Hello Earth, I'm Alec Baldwin, TV star. You know they say TV will rot your brain. <laughs> That's absurd. TV only softens the brain like a ripe banana to take it all the way. We've created Hulu. Hulu beams TV directly to your portable computing devices giving you more of the cerebral gelatinizing shows you want anytime, anywhere, for free. I only hacked out because I want you alone. <laughs> mushy mush. <laughs> and the best part is there's nothing you could do to stop it. I mean, what are you going to do, turn off your TV and your computer? <laughs> 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 Once your brains are reduced to a cottage cheese-like mush, we'll scoop them out with a melon baller and gobble them right on up. Oops. I think I'm drooling a little. Because we're aliens. And that's how we roll. Hulu, an evil plot to destroy the world. Enjoy. 2014 to 2017, the text isn't in the gradient anymore. Here is the app icon, the version with the slogan and the commercial. <laughs> that is a great idea, J.J. Abrams and Stephen King. Can't wait to see your new Hulu original. Hi, here at Hulu. We care about you as much as you care about TV. Really into South Park? Great. You can watch all 19 seasons of it here and only here. Put it there, 17! <laughs> the shows you love, we love. You tweeted to us, help Hulu bring back the Mindy Project. Okay. You're back. On Hulu? On Hulu. We've got all of Seinfeld. Empire. Stacy, hi Stacy. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, there's CSI, The Voice, Fargo, Blackish, Movies, it's everything you love. And now with a commercial free option, there's roughly a gajillion shows. I could go on and on, but I'm out of fake hallway. Good job, Linda. Have a great weekend, Bob. Need a ride, amigo? Sure, Andy Samberg. Looking good, Neil. Yes, I am. Thanks, Andy. Yep. That's your cue, Cookie. Damn right it is. Whoop. 2017 to 2018, the text is now in a green gradient text again. Here is the app icon and the commercial. Twenty eighteen to the present, the text isn't in the gradient anymore. Here is the app icon and the commercial. Who has live TV? Hulu has live sports? Well yes, Hulu Hulu does have live sports. Time's up. I need your answer now. Hulu has live game shows. Correct! Hulu also has Hulu has live dating shows! With over 75 live channels! I choose Hulu. Woo! Hulu. Flip like cable, stream like Hulu. Time to have Hulu plus live TV. 
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Disney+. Plus. It is a subscription video on demand streaming service owned and operated by the direct to consumer and international subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company. 2019 to the present, there is a light blue and dark blue gradient curved line, and under it, there is the word Disney in dark blue text, and on the right of it, there is a dark blue plus sign. Here is the print version, a variant and an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about HBO Max. It is an upcoming American subscription video on demand streaming service from WarnerMedia Entertainment, a division of AT&T's WarnerMedia. 2019 to 2019, here we have the pre-launch logo. There is a blue and purple gradient rounded rectangle, and inside it there is a black bowl logo, and under the rectangle, there is the word Max in blue, purple and pink gradient text. Here is the print version and a variant. 2019 to 2023 in the United States, and 2021 to 2024 in Latin America and Europe, there is a black bowl logo, and on the right of it, there is the word Max in blue and purple gradient text. Here is the print version, the stack version, the logo on a background and an intro. Alright, now I'm going to talk about Max. It is an American subscription video on demand over the top streaming service. It is a proprietary unit of Warner Bros. Discovery Global Streaming and Interactive Entertainment, which is itself a division of Warner Bros. Discovery. First launched in the United States on May 27, 2020, the service offers content from the libraries of Warner Bros. Discovery Channel and many more brands. 2023 to the present, there is the word Max in blue text, and inside the letter, a there is a blue circle. Here is the print version, the icon, a variant and a commercial. Okay gang, phones down. Item one, we have too many streaming subscriptions and they're starting to cost us a pretty penny. So we all know what has to happen. Grandma has to go. Wait, Nana's out? Yes, she is. Now, Diane, for the most part, I have never had a problem with you. Or we could just get Max. It has more of the shows and movies we all like to watch. Or that. Mom. Oh, oh and there she goes. Stream iconic series, movies, originals, and family favorites. Max, plans start at $9.99 a month. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Discovery Plus. It is a streaming service owned and operated by Discovery Incorporated, which features a catalog of programming from Discovery's linear and digital networks. 2021 to the present, they changed its name to Discovery Plus. There is a blue and purple gradient circle on a white and black outline, and on the right of it there is a red and green gradient shape on a white and black outline representing a letter D, and on the right of the shapes there is the word Discovery Plus in black text. Here is the stacked version and the commercial. Duolingo. It is an American educational technology company which produces learning apps and provides language certification. The platform was founded in 2011 by Luis von Ahn and Severin Hacker and has since grown to become one of the most popular language learning apps in the world. First, I'm gonna talk about the logos, then about the mascots. 2010 to 2010, there is the word Duolingo in black and gray text, and under the duo part, there is a green half ring. 2011 to 2019, there is the word Duolingo in green text. Here is the gray word mark, the app icon and the commercial. In 2019 to the present, the font has changed, making the text thicker. Here is the word mark with the mascot, the stacked version, the app icon, the Pride Month icon and the commercial. It is the best feeling in the world to communicate with someone in another language. Bon appétit, à bientôt. Hein. À bientôt, Allez, merci monsieur. Learning French has been one of my proudest achievements. Par hasard, uh, j'ai rencontré mon mari et je peux parler avec ses, sa famille uh, française. Duolingo has done it for me. Maintenant, je peux parler en français facilement do the app for 10 minutes and it's positive reinforcement. It's a jump start to my day. It felt like I was playing a game and winning would mean being able to speak a language. Grâce à Duolingo, j'ai la confiance parler et écouter en français. 
Now I'm gonna talk about the mascots. 2010 to 2010, there is a brown drawing of a bird with its eyes and beak, meaning the word duo, while having one of its wings on top. 2011 to 2012, the bird is now green. 2012 to 2013, there is a green 3D bird. 2013 to 2019, the bird looks much more simplified, with bigger eyes, smaller feet and less shadows. 2019 to the present, the bird is now being looked from the front perspective and it's shorter. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Spotify. It is a proprietary Swedish audio streaming and media services provider founded on April 23, 2006 by Daniel Ek and Martin Lorentzen. It is one of the largest music streaming service providers, with over 433 million monthly active users, including 188 million paying subscribers, as of June 2022. Spotify is listed on the New York Stock Exchange in the form of American Depository Receipts. 2008 to 2013, there is a green rounded square, and inside it there is the word Spotify in white text on a dark green outline, and above it there are three dark green rounded shapes. Here is the icon and the commercial. In 2013 to 2015, there is a green circle, and on it there are three white rounded shapes, and on the right of the circle there is the word Spotify in black text. Here is the icon, the stacked version and a commercial. From 2015 to the present, the circle is now fully light green, and the text is now in green text. Here is the print version, the icon, the print version of the icon, a variant of the icon, the Mac OS icon, the EOS and Android icon and a commercial. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Uber. Is is San Francisco-based company that provides ride-hailing services, food delivery, and freight transport. 2009 to 2010, here we have the logo of the first Uber's name, Ubercab. 
There are the red letters U and C, and under them there is the word UberCab in gray text. 2010 to 2011, they changed its name to Uber. There is a big letter U in red text, and above it, there is the word Uber in black text. 2011 to 2016, there is the word Uber in black text. Here is the icon and the commercial. Straw and hold and blow here for a ride on us. All right, let's try it out. Ready, set, blow. <laughs> Keep it going. Blow, blow, blow. <laughs> How drunk are you? Analyzing data? Go ahead, Five, four, three, two, one. Finding backup location. Requesting driver, that's exactly <laughs> Look, it's here. I guess I'm not driving anymore. We got an Uber. Uber. A free Uber? <laughs> I flew over. Thanks, Uber. Never drink and drive, folks. Twenty sixteen to twenty eighteen, the font has changed. Here is the icon and the commercial. I'm Dara Khosrowshahi, Uber's new CEO. Since joining nine months ago, my priority has been to listen to you, to cities and communities, and to my own employees. I've seen a lot of good. We've changed the way people get around. We've provided new opportunities. But moving forward, it's time to move in a new direction. And I want you to know just how excited I am to write Uber's next chapter with you. This begins with new leadership and a new culture, and you're going to see improvements to our service with better pickups and ride quality for both riders and drivers. One of our core values as a company is to always do the right thing. And if there are times when we fall short, we commit to being open, taking responsibility for the problem, and fixing it. And you've got my word that we're charting an even better road for Uber and for those that rely on us every day. Twenty eighteen to the present, the font has changed, and now only the letter U in is capital letter. Here is a commercial. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready? Cinturones, por favor. Gracias. Opportunity is everywhere. This could be fun. It's a door. Ooh, it's doing a lot of kicking down. Waiting to be open. Whatever your ambition, whatever your drive, whatever you're chasing, opportunity is everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Uber Eats. It is an online food ordering and delivery platform launched by Uber in 2014. Users can read menus, reviews and ratings, order, and pay for food from participating restaurants using an application on the iOS or Android platforms, or through a web browser. 2014 to 2015, here we have the logo of the first Uber Eats name, Uber Fresh. There are the words Uber and Fresh in black text. 2015 to 2016, they changed its name to Uber Eats. There is a blue ring, and inside it there is a blue fork, and under the ring there are the words Uber, and Eats in black and blue text. Here is a
2016 to 2017, the ring, the fork and the word eats are now green, and the font has changed. Here is a commercial. My name is Garrett Darty, and I am the chef operator of Crack and Kanji. Kanji itself is actually a pretty simple dish. It's kind of like a dialed down version of an American chicken noodle soup. The basic ingredients are garlic, ginger, rice, and water. Here at Kraken Kanji, we take that a little bit further. We make our own mushroom stock, seafood stock, chicken stock, add that to the kanji, and then we put things that are more familiar to people on top, like uh, pork belly or duck confit or scallops. I like to say we're doing inauthentic recipes for traditional items. 2017 to 2018, there is the word Uber in black text, and under it there is the word Eats in green text. Here is a commercial. Tonight I'll be eating Dim Sims, Pearl Balls, and Prawn Crackers from Mr. Min. Twenty eighteen to twenty twenty, there are the words Uber and Eats in black and green text. Here is a commercial. Tonight, I'll be eating chicken tikka masala with garlic naan. Cheers. I win again, Patrick. That's Sir Patrick. Ooh, sir. 2020 to the present, the word Uber is now in gray text, and the word eats is brighter. Here is a commercial. Uber eats. Quarter pounder with cheese. Mayo chicken, sweet chili chicken wrap. Two Big Macs. Nice. filet -o fish yeah. Four large fries. Two Smarties McFlurries. Yeah. Triple cheeseburger. Yes! And six Chicken McNuggets. Let's go. Get him. Yes! Uber Eats. Bring it. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Grubhub. It is an American online and mobile prepared food ordering and delivery platform based in Chicago, Illinois. 2004 to 2011, there is the word Grubhub.com and Woody text on a red outline, and under it, there is a red circle on a black, white and red outline, and on it, there is a drawing of a gray dish, and under the circle, there are the words who and delivers in yellow text. 2011 to 2016, there is the Grubhub in red text, and just the letter H is in capital letter. Here is a commercial. from local restaurants without ever having to talk to another human being. Grubhub. Click, click, food. 2016 to 2021, the font has changed, and now every letter is in capital letter. Here is a commercial. In 2021 to the present, there is an orange drawing of a house, and on it there is a white fork and a white knife, and on the right of the house, there is the word Grubhub in orange text. Here is a commercial. So hungry. Grubhub delivers late night, you know, and let's face it, you're way better at eating than you are at cooking. You got this, champ. Go for Grubhub. Hey, Dad, could I order... I'll take chips and guac. Go for late night, go for Grubhub. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Airbnb. It is an American company that operates an online marketplace for lodging, primarily homestays for vacation rentals and tourism activities. 2008 to 2010, here we have the logo of the first Airbnb's name, Airbed and Breakfast. There are the words Airbed and and Breakfast in blue and pink text on a white outline, and under them there are the words Forget and Hotels in gray text. 2010 to 2014, they changed its name to Airbnb, there is the word Airbnb in white text on a blue outline. 2014 to the present, there is a red shape, and on the right of it there is the word Airbnb in red text. Here is a commercial.
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Kahoot. It is a Norwegian online game-based learning platform. It has learning games, also known as Kahoot, which are user-generated multiple-choice quizzes that can be accessed via a web browser or the Kahoot app. In July 2023, Kahoot agreed to be acquired by Goldman Sachs Asset Management alongside General Atlantic, Glatrafjord, and others in a $1.72 billion all-cash deal. 2013 to the present, there is the word Kahoot in purple text, and on the right of it, there is a purple exclamation point. Here is the icon, the App Store icon, the Google Play icon, the winter version and a commercial. Hi, we're Kahoot. We're on a mission to make learning awesome. Our game-based learning platform is used by millions of people all over the world. Teachers, students, company employees, and lifelong learners. Kahoot makes it easy to create fun learning games or trivia quizzes in minutes, anytime, anywhere. We call them Kahoots. It works for any subject, in any language, on any device. You can also discover and play existing games. There are millions of Kahoots in our library. Kahoot can be played in a live setting with questions on a big screen or on your mobile device where you see questions and answers on one screen. As well as in schools, Kahoot is played in companies, at events, and even parties to make learning awesome. Sign up today at kahoot.com. Let's play! Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Subway Surfers. It is an endless runner mobile game co-developed by Killu and Cybo Games, private companies based in Denmark. It is available on Android, iOS, Kindle, and Windows Phone platforms and uses the Unity game engine. In the game, players take the role of young graffiti artists who, upon being caught in the act of tagging a metro railway site, run through the railroad tracks to escape from the inspector and his dog. 2012 to 2020, there are the words subway and surfers in yellow, and orange gradient text on a gray outline. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. Twenty twenty to the present, the outline is brighter. Here is the icon and a part of a trailer. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Poppy Playtime. It is an episodic horror video game developed and published by American indie developer Mob Entertainment. The player takes the role of a former employee of toy making company Playtime Company, who revisits its abandoned toy factory ten years after its staff's disappearance. 2021 to the present, there is the word poppy in white text on a red and black outline, and under it, there is the word playtime in red text. Here is a part of trailer. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Garden of Banban. It is a game made by the Euphoric Brothers. It is part of the controversial masked horror genre and is the Euphoric Brothers' eighth game. Upon release the game was met with a very mixed reception from gamers and critics alike. It received a lot of popularity on the internet, as well as a lot of criticism and hate. 2023 to 2023, there are the words Garten and Oven white text on a black shadow, and under them there is the word Banban in green, white, red, pink, purple and orange text on a black shadow, and on the first letters of and end there are clothes. Here is the icon, a variant and a part of trailer. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Brawl Stars. It is a multiplayer online battle arena and third-person hero shooter video game developed and published by the Finnish video game company Supercell. It was released worldwide on December 12, 2018, on iOS and Android. The game features various game modes, each with a different objective. 2017 to 2018, here we have the beta logo, there is a golden badge on a black outline, and on it, there are the words brawl and stars in blue and red text on a black outline, and on the word stars, there are three bullet holes. Here is an intro. 2018 to 2018, there is a background with a bunch of blue skull heads, and surrounding them there are four blue shapes, and between them there are the words brawl and stars in white and red text on a black outline, and under them there are two blue guns on a black outline, and on them there is a golden badge on a black outline, and on it, there is a golden skull head on a black outline. 2018 to the present, there are the words brawl and stars in white and red text on a black outline, and under them there are two white wings on a black outline, and on them, there is a golden badge on a black outline, and on it, there is a golden skull on a black outline. Here is the print version and the commercial. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Gacha Life. It is a free role-playing, single-player game created by Lunum. It was released on iOS on October 30, 2018, while the desktop version was released in early November. 2018 to 2018, here we have an unused logo. There are the words Gacha and Life in black text. Here is a poster. 2018 to the present, there are the words Gacha and Life in blue and pink gradient text on a purple and white outline. Here is a poster and a part of a trailer. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Gacha Club. It is a game released by Lunum on Android, PC and iOS. It is the last game of the Gacha Games series by Lunum. It was released on June 30, 2020 for Android users, July 10 for Windows users, and August 16, 2020 for iOS users. The game has over 10 million installs and 100,000 reviews. 2020 to the present, there is a purple sphere, and on it there are two blue and purple gradient shapes, and on them, there are the words Gacha and Club in white text on a purple and blue neon outline. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Talking Tom. It is a video game released in 2010 by OUTFIT7, in which the title character, Tom, repeats anything said to him in a high-pitched voice and interacts with the user. 2010 to 2013, here we have a promotional logo. There are the words Talking Tom and Cat in green text. 2013 to 2013, here we have a promotional logo. There is a picture of a brick wall and a stone floor, and on it there are the words Talking and Tom in a green 3D text. 2012 to 2014, there are the words Talking and Tom in white and light green text on a green outline. Here is the app icon and the commercial. Jack there. Hey, let's play. The latest toys and games at Smith's are just as excited to play as you are. Find your nearest store or shop online. Smith's Toys Superstores. Hey, let's play. 2014 to 2021. The font has changed, and the logo is the Tom is in a lighter green text. Here is the app icon and a variant of the app icon. 2021 to the present, the words are now in blue text on a white outline. Here is an intro. Talking Tom Heroes, suddenly super! Hey, I'm Tom! Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode of Logo History Themes. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel, so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until the next video, bye.